Hello, name's Chris Anke. This is episode three. And in episode three, I'm jumping to Beadle Point on Christmas Day. Yes. I made Sajay Christmas Day last year, now I've done Beagle Point. In front of you, you see the galaxy. The other end of the galaxy is human space. That's where the bubble is. Now I'm selecting to go to Beagle Point. There it is. I'm just turning on my filters. I've been using filters for a different commander, but I need this one for go to this one. Waypoint selected. Now let's get a move on. See, so, this has been recorded on Christmas Day, but narrated day on the 28th. Sorry about my earlier video, the sound didn't come through. Beagle Point, here we come. For anybody so how long it took me to get the little point? It took me about total about four months with about three week rest at Jack Brexit Station. Drive Gone from Jack Station to Beetle Point in two weeks. Which is about forty four thousand light years. I did scan for earth likes, water wheels. Bony wheels, black holes, neutron stars on the way. So it doesn't mean just A to B ASAP, just it's been exploring as well. But it's been constantly on the game when I got time. Here we are, beetle point. Scan. Just top Use up skipping. fuel while I'm scanning the planet. Pick up a system map now. Somebody has already scuffed it. No. Them worlds as well. I can't claim a name for anything, but then again, there's not been quite a few commanders here. Now I'm going to land on a planet. Now, if you've got horizons, you can do this, but if you haven't, unfortunately, you can't. Horizons is well worth money. Fuel sink disengaged. Just a little way to go. Pyroto's been here and he's a good streamer as well. He does a lot of exploration. He knows a lot about the playing of the game. So if you want to go to his channel, it's on Twitch TV slash Fiery Toad. And you go on there, follow him. And you got Mad Dog, his buddy, when they laughs. They're, he's on Twitch as well. It's M A H Double D. O double G. Look for him on Twitch. I don't exactly know what his one is. But it's I think it's the same as Fire Toes, but with we'll that on the end, so now we're scanning the planet. Oops, I think I'm gonna do a loop of shame. Sorry it's slip correction. And we want to do something in the game for a course, go to truckers. 
they do a lot of things transporting goods and fighting around the Hutton Orbital and that area so it's good fun, good people good bunch of lads we want some Got some in learning new to gaming with Ian. He does a brilliant channel after crashes landing. Now, you want some fun just before crashes landing? All that Ian starts show starts about 10 o'clock, but before 8 o'clock from 7 till 8, go to Drabble Abracadabble, and that is a travel show where you write stories under with well, it's great fun and it's under with Psycho Gal who hosts it it's under his channel S P A sorry P S Y K O W O K sorry O W so that's P S Y K O K O W and that'll get you to his channel where I got travels hosted every Friday seven months seven o'clock onwards photograph of the beagle point for facebook and prosperity now let's get on to landing on a planet anybody who doesn't know how to land on a planet begin it what you do is get up close to the planet not too fast so you're in the sweet spot that is the yellow, it might be a different colour on yours, mine's a different H colour, GI colour, so it, you know, it will be different on yours, unless, unless you've got this colour. It's a sweet spot and that'll bring it nice and at the right speed to orbit the planet. What you do then is get when you get close, you'll come into oh, orbital mode. What she started to now? Orbital flight engaged. Orbital flight. Sorry. And after this, you get glide mode. get that it is a lot quicker to surface but you, you will stop you before you get to bottom but even though it might look a bit frightening this is glide mode engaged show much more quick it's coming down of course it's gravity it is a low gravity world so it's no fear of suddenly drag, dragging you down Others might be a lot higher. In that case, you've got to watch how you come down. Right. Going. find to find a space when you get under 2k 2km sorry close to now okay. landing gear deployed oh, sorry it'd be a lot less more than that sorry when your landing gear is deployed Scanner, it going yellow. It will be a different colour on yours. I think it's light blue on yours. I'm not sure. If you've got the default, if not, it'd be whatever colour you designate it for. And you got line up, 
and hope you don't do a crash landing. Oh, sorry about that pun. Crash. I suppose you can get me back later for all that. Remember, this is my first time here, and it's going to be my first landing here. Just try to trick gate times, things do alter. And there we landed. Now let's get me buggy out. I've got an Xbox controller for my buggy, but you can actually use the controllers as well, but I prefer the Xbox. If I play a racing game, and that's what I use. Now I'm going to dismiss the ship. Makes things easier for scanning. Now how the scanner works is if you, if you look at the top of your scanner, top of your where your ship is on the scanner, you'll see some scanning. Now the bottom half, what shows up, are all minerals. Top half will be all the like nav beacons and crash ships and stuff like that. What, want, what I'm looking for is near the bottom. Bottom half of the bottom half, if you should say. And that's what I'll be after. That's where the good stuff is. tip about driving if you have auto I mean assist off you have full control of the vehicle no speed nothing's holding you back but once you let go of your controls it goes to zero it won't move but if you have it flight assist on assist on what happens is you'll go at the speed that you set it at basically so if you push forward and you let go of your trigger it will consistently go that speed it's good if you travel long distance you can get it underneath the tent speed of 10 you won't damage your vehicle but if you have it Eye on that. You can't. You got to keep an eye on it, and it's not always safe. So flight assist off. I say you've got full control. Flight assist on. It, it controls the speed, etc. And what I'm looking at is that that's a little bit of the front middle. Aim for that. Woo. See that there? What you have to do is you have to s s select it. Which. Like that. Then you have to fire on it to release the minerals. Just like that. There's two ways you can do. Select it, you can manual select it like that, or you can go into the screen, left panel, contacts, like that. Uh, oops, gone too far back. Let's go a bit forward. That selects what you got. The other thing there is will probably be the vidium, vanadium, whatever it's called. You select that. Oops. Try again. Oops. I'll show you the manual way. No, that's the manual way. Selecting it. 
some light on the subject. Deployed. Deploy your Scarlet Liquid Soup. That's if you had him got. Now let's go have a look for some cars. Some cars here. It's a bit high, this is. Ooh. Anybody wants... What we get now? Anybody wants to go watch some, get some information about the game and that? The man with the knowledge is Mr. John Bergo. Not the sticker player, he is Crash. The show is on 8 till 10 on Friday nights, in between Psycho Cows and Game with Ian. Good fun there. And if he doesn't know anything about the game, nobody does. And there's his Twitch TV stroke crash landing, all one word. I look there at 8 o'clock, he's normally on. Time there. And the next one. Vanadium, which I'll get. After that, but that is useful. We've got some girls as well, which I don't know why, but. Interested in them too, don't think. No. Just in them. Have a look for one more thing, and you now you can't find anything. Just go in one direction. Whoops! Now you won't know which direction you're going all the time. Take a look at the top of the compass. That's just below your, above your targeting rector, and, and you'll see the direction you're going in. So if you spin like I have done, just reposition yourself there and you'll be going the same way. I've seen some cows. If you like this video, say sorry about the last one I put out on Christmas Day, but it's a, it was one of theirs I recorded it. The sound didn't come out, so I've narrated it this time. Hopefully this, this will work. How you want to follow me? Can do, which for all I keep. You, sorry. YouTube.co.uk Royal Anki. No, sorry, YouTube.com slash Royal Anki. Or Twitch TV slash Royal Anki you want to give us a follow you can do, don't do much Twitch streaming at the moment so this is all new to me sorry about not taking so long putting out videos like I've been lots I've been the last few months been pretty busy Well, it's Christmas, I thought I'd make one or two. Here's one more.
that is useful in the atrium as part of your jump thing and you also need that for some of your re engineer upgrades anyway thank you for watching wish you a merry christmas and a happy 2017 See you soon. If anybody wants to, anybody's going to Lavecom. My name's Chris Anke. Just come up to me and say hello. I won't bite. See you in the new year. And take care and avoid. Fly safe. Bye. Hope you enjoy the video as well. Hello, my name is Chris Anke. This is episode three. And in episode three, I'm jumping to Beadle Point on Christmas Day. Yes. I made Saj Christmas Day last year, now I've done Beagle Point. In front of you you see the galaxy. The other end of the galaxy is human space. That's where the bubble is. And now I'm selecting to go to Beagle Point. There it is. I'm just turning on my filters. I've been using filters for a different commander, but. I need this one for go to this one. Waypoint selected. Now let's get a move on. Say so this is being recorded on Christmas Day, but narrated today on the twenty eighth. Sorry about my earlier video. The sound didn't come through. Beagle Point, here we come. For anybody who wants to know how long it took me to get Beagle Point, it took me about a total of about four months with about a three week rest at Jack Station. Come from Jack Station to Beagle Point in two weeks, which is about 44,000 light years. I did scan for Earth likes, water worlds, ammonia worlds, black holes, and neutron stars on the way. So it doesn't mean just A to B ASAP, it's just it's been exploring as well. But it's been constantly on the game when I got time. And here we are, Beetle Point. Just done a scan. Now let's just top up the fuel while I'm scanning the planet. Bring up a system out now. Somebody has already scoped it. Them, them worlds as well. Looks like I can't claim a name for anything. But then again, there's not been quite a few commanders here. Now I'm going to land on a planet. Now, if you got horizons, you can do this, but if you haven't, unfortunately, you can't. Horizons is well worth the money. Just a little way to go. 
Photo's been here and he's a good streamer as well. Does a lot of exploration. He knows a lot about the playing of the game. So if you want to go to his channel, it's on Twitch TV slash Fiery Toad. And you've gone there, follow him. Then you got Mad Dog, his buddy, when they laughs. They, he's on Twitch as well. It's M A H double D O double G. You look for him on Twitch. I don't exactly know what his one is, but it's I think it's the same as Fiery Toes, but with Mad that on the end. So now we're scanning the planet. Oops, I think I'm going to do a loop of shame. Sorry, it's slipper correction. Now we want to do something in the game for a course. Go to Orton Truckers. They do a lot of things. Transporting goods and fighting around the Hutton Orbital and that area. So it's good fun. Good people. And a good bunch of lads. We want some we want some in learning. Go to gaming with Ian. He does a brilliant channel after crashes landing. Now we want some fun just before crashes landing. Oh that Ian starts show starts about ten o'clock. But before eight o'clock from seven to eight, go to Drabble. Abracadabral and that is a travel show where you write stories under words well it's great fun and it's under with Psycho Cow who hosts it it's under his channel S P A sorry P S Y K O W O K sorry O W so that's P S Y K O K O W and that'll get you to his channel where I go Travels hosted every Friday from seven one seven o'clock onwards. Photograph of the Beagle Point for Facebook and Prosperity. Now let's get on to landing on a planet. Anybody who doesn't know how to land on a planet, begin it. What you do is get up close to the planet, not too fast. So you're in the sweet spot. That is the yellow. It might be a different colour on yours. Mine's a different H colour, GI colour. So it, you know it will be different on yours, unless unless you got this colour. And it's a sweet spot, and that'll bring it nice and at the right speed to orbit the planet. And what you do then is get when you get close, you'll come into uh, orbital mode, which is starting to now. So orbital flight, sorry. And after this, you get glide mode. Once you once you get that, it is a lot quicker to surface, but it, it will stop you before you get to bottom. But even though it might look a bit frightening, this is glide mode engaged. Show much more quick it's coming down. Of course, it's gravity. It is a low gravity world, so it's no fear of suddenly. Drag, dragging you down. Others might be a lot higher. In that case, you got to watch how you come down. Right. Going. Now, 
what you do when you find to find a space when you get under 2k 2km sorry which I'm getting close to now okay oh sorry it'd be a lot less more than that sorry when your landing gear is deployed you'll see on the screen there on your scanner it going yellow it will be a different color on yours I think it's light blue on yours I'm not sure if you've got the default if not it'd be whatever color you designate it for then you got line up and hope you don't do a crash landing oh sorry about that pun crash I suppose you can get me back later for all that remember this is my first time here and it's going to be my first landing here it is try to trick eight times things do alter there you are I'm there we landed now let's get me buggy out I've got an Xbox controller for my buggy, but you can actually use the controllers as well, but I prefer the Xbox. Try and play a racing game, and that's what I use. Now I'm going to dismiss the ship. Makes things easier for scanning. Now how the scanner works is if you, if you look at the top of the scanner, top of your where your ship is on the scanner, you'll see some scanning. Now the bottom half, what shows up are all minerals. Top half will be all the like nav beacons and cross ships and stuff like that what, you want, what I'm looking for is near the bottom bottom off of the bottom off if you should say and that's what I'll be after that's where the good stuff is one tip about driving if you have auto I mean assist off you have full control of the vehicle go speed nothing's holding you back but once you let go of your controls it goes to zero it won't move but if you have it on flight assist on assist on what happens is you'll go at the speed that you set it at basically so if you push forward and, it, and let go of your trigger it will consistently go that speed it's good if you travel long distances you get it underneath the tent, speed of 10 you won't damage your vehicle but if you have it higher than that you can't you got to keep an eye on it and it's not always safe so flight assist off I say you've got full control flight assist on it, it controls the speed etc and what I'm looking at is that that's a little bit in the front middle aim for that woo bump see that there what you have to do is you have to select it which like that. then you have to fire on it to release the minerals
just like that. There's two ways you can do select it. You can manual select it like that, or you can go into the screen, left panel, contacts, like that. Oops, gone too far back. Let's go a bit forward, and that selects what you got. The only thing there is, will probably be the vidium, vanadium, whatever it's called. You select that. Oops. Try again. Oops. I'll show you the manual way. No, that's the manual way. Selecting it. Some light on the subject. You pull your scar like a soup. That's your Vadium got. Now let's go and have a look for some cals. Some cals here, near here. Oh, it's a bit high, this is. Ooh. Anybody wants. What well, we get now? Anybody wants to go watch some, get some information about the game and that? The man with the knowledge is Mr. John Virgo. Not the sneaker player, he is Crash. This show is on 8 till 10 on Friday nights, in between Psycho Cows and Game of the Inn. Good fun there. And if he doesn't know anything about the game, nobody does. And there's his Twitch TV stroke crash landing, all one word. I look there, 8 o'clock, he's normally on. He will... Have a good, good time there. Now the next one. Vanadium, which I'll get. I'm, I'm not after that, but that is useful. We've got some girls as well, which I don't know why, but not interested in them too, don't think. No. Interested in them. I'll just have a look for one more thing. And now we can't find anything. Just go in one direction. Whoops. Now we won't know which direction you're going all the time. Take a look at the top of the compass. That's just below your, above your targeting rector. And, then, and you'll see the direction you're going in. So if you spin like I have done, just reposition yourself there and you'll be going the same way. Now I've seen some cows. Now if you like this video, I'll say sorry about the last one I put out on Christmas Day, but it's a, it was one of theirs, I recorded it and the sound didn't come out. So I've narrated it this time. And hopefully this, this will work. Now if you want to follow me, can do. It's Royal Anki. You, sorry, YouTube 
YouTube.co.uk Royal Anki. No, sorry, YouTube.com slash Royal Anki. Or Twitch TV slash Royal Anki. You want to give us a follow? We kind of don't do much Twitch streaming at the moment. So this is all new to me. I'm sorry about not taking so long putting out videos like I've been lots uh, I've been last few months I've been pretty busy but while it's Christmas I thought I'd make one or two anyway here's one more That is useful, Yitrium, that's part of your jump thing, and you also need that for some of your re engineer upgrades. Anyway, thank you for watching. Wish you a Merry Christmas and a happy 2017. See you soon. If anybody wants to, anybody's going to Lavecom. My name's Chris Anke. Just come up to me and say hello. I won't bite. See you in the new year, and take care and avoid. Fly safe. Bye. Hope you enjoy the video as well. Hello, name's Chris Anke. This is episode three. And in episode three, I'm jumping to Beadle Point on Christmas Day. Yes. I made Saj Christmas Day last year, now I've done Beagle Point. In front of you, you see the galaxy. The other end of the galaxy is human space. That's where the bubble is. N now I'm selecting to go to Beagle Point. There it is. I'm just turning on my filters. I've been using filters for a different commander, but. I need this one for go to this one. Waypoint selected. Now let's get a move on. Say so this is being recorded on Christmas Day, but narrated today on the twenty eighth. Sorry about my earlier video. The sound didn't come through. Beagle Point, here we come. For anybody who wants to know how long it took me to get Beagle Point, it took me about a total of about four months with about a three week rest at Jack Station. Come from Jack Station to Beagle Point in two weeks, which is about 44,000 light years. I did scan for Earth likes, water worlds, ammonia worlds, black holes, and neutron stars on the way. So it doesn't mean just A to B ASAP, it's just it's been exploring as well. It's been constantly on the game when I got time. And here we are, Beetle Point.
Just done a scan. No, let's just top up with fuel while I'm scanning the planet. Bring up the system up now. Somebody has already scuffed it. Them, them worlds as well. Looks like I can't claim a name for anything. But then again, there's not been quite a few commanders here. Now I'm going to land on a planet. Now, if you've got horizons, you can do this. But if you haven't, unfortunately, you can't. Horizons is well worth the money. Just a little way to go. Fireto's been here and he's a good streamer as well. Does a lot of exploration. He knows a lot about the playing of the game. So if you want to go to his channel, it's on Twitch TV slash Fiery Toad. And you've gone there, follow him. Then you've got Mad Dog, his buddy, when they laughs. They, he's on Twitch as well. It's M A H D O G. You look for him on Twitch. I don't exactly know what his one is. But it's, I think it's the same as Fiery Toad's, but with Mad that on the end so now we're scanning the planet oops I think I'm gonna do a loop of shame sorry it's slipper correction now we want to do something in the game for a course go to Orton truckers they do a lot of things transporting goods and fighting around the Hutton orbital and that area, so it's good fun, good people, and a good bunch of lads. We want some we want some in learning, go to gaming with Ian. He does a brilliant channel after crashes landing. I want some fun just before crashes landing. Oh, that Ian start, show starts about 10 o'clock. But before 8 o'clock, from 7 to 8, go to Drabble, Abraka Drabble. And that is a Drabble show where you write stories under words. Well, it's great fun. And it's under with it's Psycho Cow who hosts it. It's under his channel. S P A, sorry, P S Y K O W. Okay, sorry, O W. So that's P S Y K O K O W, and that'll get you to his channel where I got travels hosted every Friday from seven ones, seven o'clock onwards. Photograph of the Beagle Point for Facebook and Prosperity. Now let's get on to landing on a planet. Anybody who doesn't know how to land on a planet, begin it. What you do is get up close to the planet, not too fast. So you're in the sweet spot. That is the yellow, it might be a different colour on yours, mine's a different H colour, GI colour, so it, you know it will be different on yours. Unless unless you got this colour. And it's a sweet spot and that'll bring it nice and at the right speed to orbit the planet. And what you do then is get when you get close, you'll come into orbital mode. Which is starting to now. Orbital flight, sorry. And after this, you get glide mode. Once 
once you once you get that, it is a lot quicker to surface, but it, it will stop you before you get to the bottom, but even though it might look a bit frightening. This is glide mode engaged. Show much more quick it's coming down. Of course it's gravity. It is a low gravity world, so it's no fear of suddenly drag, dragging you down. Others might be a lot higher. In that case, you've got to watch how you come down. Right. Going. Now, what you do when you find, to find a space, when you get under 2K, 2KM, sorry, which I'm getting close to now, okay, oh, sorry, it'd be a lot less, more than that, sorry, when your landing gear is deployed, You'll see on the screen there, on your scanner, it going yellow, it will be a different colour on yours. I think it's light blue on yours, I'm not sure. If you've got the default, if not, it'd be whatever colour you designate it for. And you've got line up. And I hope you don't do a crash landing. Oh, sorry about that pun crash. I suppose you're going to get me back later for all that. Remember, this is my first time here, and it's going to be my first landing here. It is try to trick at times, things do alter. There you are, I'm there we landed. Now, let's get me buggy out. I've got an Xbox controller for my buggy, but you can actually use the controllers as well, but I prefer the Xbox. Because when I play a racing game, and that's what I use. Now I'm going to dismiss the ship. Makes things easier for scanning. Now how the scanner works is if you, if you look at the top of the scanner, top of your way ship is on the scanner, you'll see some scanning. Now the bottom half, what shows up are all minerals. Top half will be all the like nav beacons and cross ships and stuff like that. What, want, what I'm looking for is near the bottom. Bottom off of the bottom off, if you should say. And that's what I'll be after. That's where the good stuff is. One tip about driving. If you have auto I mean, assist off, you have full control of the vehicle. Go speed, nothing's holding you back. But once you let go of your controls, it goes to zero. It won't move. But if you have it on flight assist on, assist on what happens is, you'll go at the speed that you set it at, basically. So if you push forward and let go of your trigger, 
it to consistently go that speed. It's good. If you travel long distances, you get it underneath the tent, speed of 10, you won't damage your vehicle. But if you have it higher than that, you can't, you've got to keep an eye on it, and it's not always safe. So, flight assist off, i say you've got full control, flight assist on, it, it controls the speed, etc. And what I'm looking at is that that's a little bit in the front middle. Aim for that. Woo! Bump. You see that there? What you have to do is you have to select it. Which, like that. Then you have to fire on it to release the minerals. Just like that. There's two ways you can do select it. You can manual select it like that, or you can go into the screen, left panel, contacts, like that. Uh, oops, gone too far back. Let's go a bit forward, and that selects what you got. The only thing there is will probably be the vidium. Vanadium, whatever it's called. You select that. Oops. Try again. Oops. I'll show you the manual way. No, that's the manual way. Selecting it. Some light on the subject. You pull your scar like a soup. And that's your vadium got. Now let's go and have a look for some cows. Some cows here, near here. Oh, it's a bit high, this is. Ooh. Anybody wants... Well, we're getting there. Anybody wants to go watch some, get some information about the game and that? The man with the knowledge is Mr. John Virgo. Not the sticker player. He is Crash. This show is on 8 till 10 on Friday nights, in between Psycho Cows and Game of the Inn. Good fun there. And if he doesn't know anything about the game, nobody does. And there's his Twitch TV stroke crash landing, all one word. If look there, 8 o'clock, he's normally on. He will... Have a good, good time there. And the next one. Vanadium, which I'll get. I'm, I'm not after that, but that is useful. We've got some girls as well, which I don't know why, but not interested in them too, don't think. No. Interested in them. I'll just have a look for one more thing. Now, we can't find anything. 
Just go in one direction. Whoops. Now, we won't know which direction you're going all the time. Take a look at the top of the compass. That's just below your, above your targeting rector. And, then, and you'll see the direction you're going in. So if you spin like I have done, just reposition yourself there and you'll be going the same way. Now I've seen some cows. Now if you like this video, I'll say sorry about the last one I put out on Christmas Day, but it's a, it was one of theirs, I recorded it and the sound didn't come out. So I narrated it this time. Hopefully this, this will work. Now if you want to follow me, can do, it's Royal Anki, you, sorry, YouTube dot co dot uk royal anki no sorry youtube dot com slash royal anki or twitch tv slash royal anki you want to give us a follow we can do don't do much twitch streaming at the moment so this is all new to me I'm sorry about not Taking so long putting out videos that I've been lots. I've been last few months been pretty busy. But while it's Christmas, I thought I'd make one or two. Anyway, here's one more. That is useful, Yitrium, that's part of your jump thing, and you also need that for some of your re engineer upgrades. Anyway, thank you for watching, wish you a Merry Christmas, and a happy 2017. See you soon. If anybody wants to, anybody's going to Lavecom. My name's Chris Anke. Just come up to me and say hello. I won't bite. See you in the new year, and take care and avoid. Fly safe. Bye. Hope you enjoy the video as well.